Holy sheep shits. What the heck is that thing right there? That is like a new form of monster of which I have not seen. That thing looks spooky, dude. Look at that beast. We're bringing it down. What is that gross? There's just giant mutated monsters back there. Lovely. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot here, back playing Animalica. Now, weirdly enough, the game's not, like, enabling me to load save game. It's actually kind of heartbreaking, even though I didn't put that much- Jesus Christ, what the hell? What the hell was that? There's, like, I don't know, for some weird reason, whenever I try and load a save game, it just, like, detects malware in the game and deletes local files, and I'm unable to do it. So now I'm just, like, starting a new game, which is fine, because I really had nothing anyways. Hang on, I just totally did that in a stupid way. There we go. So right now, at the beginning, obviously, you just want to gather every little bit of thing possible. You can gather just about everything in this game. It's pretty beautiful. I know some of you guys probably already know that, but, like, I need to gather all this stuff, man. This is... You will not find the splurge of resources out there in the outside world. Actually, you kind of will. There's a lot of resources everywhere. Nice but, spot. like, you'll find the majority of them in here. How did I just drop those beers right there and not even notice? I just watched a Stone Cold Steve Austin video, too. He'd kick my ass for forgetting beer. All right, so first, uh, I'm not even sure like the use for a lot of this stuff. Honestly, I have yet to make any sort of little base, but it's because there's so many different amazing worlds you could visit that I'm not even sure where I'd like my base to be constructed. I'm going to get into that right now. We're going to go explore some of the craziest ass worlds so I can figure out the place. Whoa. Oh, you dirty bastard. I didn't even exit the bunker. I thought I was picking something up. I need more resources before we go and make that kind of decision. Look at all this fresh water in here. There's just so much infinite stuff. You can even gather the pallets, even gather the tire, you gather just about everything up in here. Well, you can't gather that, you can't gather this. I think that's all yet to be expanded upon later on in the game. It is weird that we can't grab this stuff right here, but all the other crap we can grab, but it's just, it's just the life we're living, man. There's so much crazy, it's like one of these rooms I'm mischecking and it's my ass right there. Look at all that cloth. Look at these bananas. Oh, hell yeah, son. Chicken legs, you serious? So much cloth. I love how nothing in here is rotted whatsoever or nothing. It's sweet moves. Oh, yeah. All right, hell yeah. And we're on our way outside the bunker. Time we found to go adventure. If you guys enjoy this game, make sure to smack that like button. You guys love the first episode so bad that I was like, there ain't no way I'm not going to do a second one. All right, so I have these tranquilizer arrows. I kind of don't want to use it first because... Because that would suck. Wait, crap, the crowbar and the knife do the same amount of damage. I was hoping it was like some exponential, ridiculous amount. Either way, we're gonna go after. We're gonna have to go adventure though, just to find resources and everything, anyways. Because that's just the life we're living. It is best, I, honestly. I find to uh, to get resources, to just find all these abandoned buildings all over the place. They all have so much crap in them. Although I feel like that's not a secret of the game, or not a trade secret whatsoever. That's like literally exactly what you're supposed to be doing as foraging, foraging for resources. But yes, see one thing, there's always a good amount of rope on that bridge I've come to realize, but unless I'm going to use up your trank arrows, the goddamn demon dog way ahead right there in front of us will make life very hard. I kind of don't want to use up those trank arrows, I want to preserve my trank arrows so I can tranquilize creatures we could actually take back to base with us. Alright, well for starters, if we're not walking around with a banana, I just don't know what we're doing with our life. Come on Johnny, you can't be misclicking with this. Potatoes, the cooking ingredients. See, no, 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 I gotta have food on the left and water on the right, or it just throws off my entire mind. Any of you guys do stuff like that? Okay, well, Stone Cold Steve Austin would be pissed if I didn't just put those beers in my inventory. I feel like I still hear him yelling in the back of my head. Bandages! We need to use you to- wait, we already have- how do we make- okay, we need some aloe vera to make some healing balm. Alright, we already have some bandages, I'm just gonna make a few more because we're probably gonna die, man. Things are crazy right here. Okay, we have 12 bandages. Yeah, suck my balls, nature. Try and get me with your moves now. That soda looks like slurm. Anybody know what slurm is? Okay, so you gotta just keep your eyes peeled, basically, for any sort of vital resources you'll find on the ground. It's, it's pretty much just survival around here. This guy's got, like, the ingenious of Rick Sanchez when it comes to putting random garbage together and forming genius contraptions. Oh, shit. Yeah, got some bushes. All right, so there's the city we're looking for. What do you guys think the plan is for the oceans? Everybody in the first episode was commenting about how gorgeous the ocean was. And I agree, it's flippin' beautiful. I think it's arguably prettier than Ark's ocean. Does not even compare to Subnautica's ocean, but seeing as how that game is just one big ocean, I thought, holy shizen, we swim fast on top of the water. Oh, what the hell am I doing down there this whole time? Alright, now I think there's... 
some sort of devil dog in this little town as well. I think that's it right there. Oh, that's just a horse. What? What is this horse doing here? Are you just a wild horse? Are you for takes? What is going on here, Chrome? Oh my god, so this is us. Why are our eyes glowing? Dude, hell yeah, we have a horse now. Are you kidding me? Hang on, trots a three. How do you... Okay, so that's three and then sprints L. Whoa, Nelly. No, that's just, that's just straight up getting off the horse right there. Get on over here. No, shift to sprints. I'm one over. Okay, I, I got you now. Holy shit. What is that? That's such a cool little turnaround right there. Wow, that's so awesome. Well, now I'm just super pumped for the next Red Dead Redemption as well. But this is super cool right here. Look at us on our first mount of the game, man. And we totally swooped it from somebody. Hopefully nobody's using this thing. <gasps> What's over here? I feel like there's got to be a person here. Why would they just leave a horse on a mount unless they were eaten by some sort of strange creature? All right, so first things first, before we go anywhere, we got to scavenge this place for all resources. This is what this... I always fall for this house, though, every time I come in here. It's just one giant empty palace, and I never remember that. But I always assume there's going to be stuff in there. Okay, keep your stamina a little bit about you. I'm pretty sure there is one of those hellhounds here. Yeah! Oh, so many nails and bolts right there. Dude, we're even snipping all the plants out of the graveyard. Gotta gather everything. Wow, so much potatoes. A rope, yes. And then just another giant empty room. Or is it? Oh my god, we got 10 alcohol. That's so many bandages right there. Yeah! Holy poop shiz! What is going on over here? Look at this dog just chained up to this little house. What's going on, buddy? Oh, it's just a sick dog, poor little failers. Terrible. Oh my god, we have a sick greyhound. Who would just abandon a dog back here? And what is this stuff, man? Poor little feller, we're gonna go get this dog fixed up. There's no way I'm not gonna. I don't know how to cure creatures yet, funny enough, because I haven't really spent that much time like doing the actual game. More adventuring and exploring, because there's so much beautiful stuff to look at around here. But um, now that we have a sick dog, that's a little different. Because if my boy was sick, that'd be top priority. All right, we are not bringing this horse with us, though, unfortunately, because our adventure is going to take us over here in these bushes, I think. Wait, where is it? Oh, man, I hate when it gets nighttime in any game ever, especially games where we don't have flashlights. We're right over here. This little fairy is going to take us all over the place. God, this horse is so great. So I'm just going to love leaving you right here, buddy. For when we come back, it will be our transportation. And actually, one thing, because when we do die, you lose stuff in your inventory. Like, you just keep stuff in your hotbar, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I actually haven't died that many times. But, ooh, med kits! I'll bet you heal me way more than a bandage. But I'm fairly certain that you just lose everything in your inventory and keep everything in your hotbar. So there's no way in a monkey's ass I'm not keeping that... Wait, hang on. This... Where did I, where have I been here? I can't remember whatsoever. There's no way I'm not keeping that, that thing in my inventory. Okay, so you, obviously, this one has elephants, which sounds awesome. But what would the rest of you be? That's where we are already now. Okay, so what would your eagle's nest? Oh, but there's some crazy ass creatures in eagle's nest. Probably some eagles. And we have landed. Isn't that magical? Here's our helicopter. <laughs> Sorry, sorry for patronizing you guys right there by saying here's our helicopter. I think we're all stupider for, for me saying that. Why? Where is this fire? Is this just a fire? We, okay, it's just a fire. We started next to it. All right, it's all good. I was like, shiz, is our helicopter on fire? All right, so here we are in Africa, I'm assuming, by the music playing. Look at these water buffaloes. Holy crap, this game is amazing. This game is extremely underrated for something, because it's, I mean, if it got, I feel like it should be getting the popularity of Conan right now. It's just not, it's just not as polished as Conan, but there's certain aspects that are way crazier. These water buffalo actually going about their day-to-day -day lives is way more nuts than an ostrich walking in circles, and then just kind of rapid sprinting. It's, oh my god, it's just laying down in the water. That's so cool. And he stands up. They have complete life. Oh, there's an elephant over there. What happens if I put down my greyhound? I, that sounds horrible when I say it like that. I don't mean put down my greyhound. I mean, what happens if I place him on the floor? What are you, little failure? Oh, it's just some kind of Africa horse. <laughs> Dude, I just want to monitor these creatures so much to see exactly how much the game mimics their real life uh, lifestyle. Okay, oh, what is that elephant doing? That looks adorable. Oh my god, look, he's just laying down in the water. Are you serious? 
All right, well, now I really hope you guys are supporting more of this game because this is like top-notch awesomeness right here. I thought there's another one appearing over the horizon. So many water buffaloes over there. Oh my god, there's so much life going on around here. I really don't want to take this creature from his habitats. I feel like that'd be so unfortunate. This is so cool, by the way. Peaceful animals just doing their own thing. I Honestly, yeah, obviously in real life, you get this close up to an elephant, you're probably going to spook it and it's going to kick the shit out of you, stampede you or something. Which they should do because poachers are like just popping off like crazy out there, so they need to not be trusting humans at all. Giraffes! But I do love how these creatures don't just randomly attack you if you get too close to them, like creatures in most games. It's, it's so stupid when that happens, man. <laughs> I really don't want to take any of these from their, from their environments. They're too beautiful and graceful. But I assume if we want to make sure the species stays alive forever, then we have to take them. Right? That's how it goes. See, the giraffes get spooked. That's cool. Let me get it close to you, though, giraffe buddy. No, they're just going to haul ass. They're not letting us get anywhere near. Is that more giraffes over the horizon? What? Oh, my God. I assume it just gets more and more crazy as you go. Okay, there's a fire over there. Ooh, we must go investigate that fire. I wonder if there's different kinds of mutant creatures over in this part of the globe or if it's just like the same hellhound piece everywhere you know anyone else really love how the water buffaloes are chilling by the water as well that's such a weird thing to just feel grateful for but that really is an amazing aspect i like wish our uh, dinosaurs and arc had certain i don't know they just at least hung out in the areas where you think they i mean obviously they all have their biomes that they spawn in but they're never, they're always just walking around aimlessly. They're never doing things that the actual creatures would have been doing, except for killing each other, I suppose. But even then, it's not even to kill to eat. They just rapidly attack every, everything spawning around them. All right, now we're gonna go check out this fire. I don't know, it just, it's just really cool to see animals doing what the animals would be doing. It's a weird thing to be this excited about. It's a thing to be more common. It's like, how are we gonna make a great games? I know, let's actually make the creatures do what they're supposed to. Oh shit! How is that idea so untouched at this point? I feel like the only reason we're trying to avoid all artificial intelligence advancements, you know, we're, we're always just pushing one step closer to Skynet. That is a beautiful natural rock formation. Nature is so pretty. All right, so what spawns in these little things? This is my first, whoa, get off the character thing. This is my first time coming into a teepee. There's some animal hide and more animal hide. I would imagine, but where are the inhabitants? Is it just that the game's so early in development that there aren't tribes yet? Will that later be occupied? Because that would be so cool. I wonder what they'd be doing. I feel like they'll have natural like instincts to do what they'd be doing as well. I don't know. I'm just picturing a group of tribe or a tribe, a tribal group. Yes, just chasing down like an elephant or something, or the opposite, a rhino chasing down a tribal group. Dude, there's just horses out for the taking. I swear to God, these horses were not here when I played this game the other day. That was not a thing. Give me your rope. Give me your sticks. Man, we just salvaged for everything up in here. I love that there's no weights. Eggs? What the hell? We're not even going to ask where those eggs came from. That's dirty. Came out of something's butt. There we go. You have to be in trots, and then you sh then you sprint. And then it's all, oh, this is, this is transportation right here, man. Anything before this was just peasants. Peasant behavior. I wonder if that's all we're gonna witness so far. Wait, what are you guys over there? Oh, those are the hellhounds. Hellhounds, oh, so, slow down, buddy. Hellhounds occupy those little spikes land masses, like the one up ahead. But we're on a horse. No, I don't even want to. Dude, those things suck, dude. <laughs> once they get a hold of you, once they catch your whip, it's like Jeepers Creepers. They will never tire, they will never slow down, they will never stop until you are dead. Oh shit, some zebras! What? What's going on, Homeski? Look at this running with the zebras. This is magical right here. With this beautiful African music playing behind as well. This is so cool. All right, so I think that's just about all the creatures we're going to see in here. Zebras, giraffes, elephants, and water buffaloes. Obviously, more creatures are going to be added in the future. I don't know that for certain. Like, that, no one's told me that. But this is like one of the game's main exports right here. Look at all the zebras. I used to love zebras. Till I found out zebras are basically giant assholes. But either way, they're still a cool animal. Like, I have nothing against them. What do we got? Oh my god. Dog food! Yes! We got dog food for our greyhound! What? Anyone wondering why I think zebras are giant assholes? Just know I have my reasons, man. I have more than my re I, I just watched a video the other day 
where a holy crap no 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 holy crap that was that was just me being surprised over the elephant where a zebra like the male zebra was trying to drown the baby zebra because it was going to be the next like rightful alpha and the mom was just desperately trying to protect it while he was just look at them all grazing over here and i really gave a huge less of a crap for all the horrible videos i've seen of alligators just vaporizing zebras it's like okay they deserve it man that was like the most evil thing i've ever seen right there drowning babies what the what that's the only time i disagree with like i don't know vegans and stuff like that are one of the main times i'll disagree with them is because they'll say like animals should never be harmed this that or this i'm like yeah animals should be kept obviously oh there's a rhino too animals should never be harmed obviously in certain but i'm like if you're hunting to eat, that's a little different. And I know like, that's the same thing. It's like, no, dude, that's what animals do too. Animals are vicious as hell to each other. Are you serious? Like, obviously, you should never abuse animals or anything. But if you're hunting, there's nothing wrong with hunting to eat. Animals in nature are doing the same thing is basically what I'm saying right now. And I feel like a bullet to the dome is a much better way to be killed than drowned by your father. Right? Oh, bullsack! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was not accounting for a vicious rhino. All right, buddy. I think the rhino is unable to damage me right now, which is just splendiferous. Oh, that is just all kinds of amazing. Are you going to go to sleep, buddy? Are you going to go down, handsome? I would imagine in reality, the arrows are not able to penetrate his rough uh, rhino skin. Yeah, dude. Can we still grab these arrows out? You can. Why I wasn't re-grabbing my arrows out last time, I do not know. Look at this. We just knocked a rhino out. Look at us, couple dino rapists. Aren't we a dino? I meant rhino. Sorry, the word sounds so similar. All right, so we've gathered us a rhino. Let's see here. It is infected. We do have to de-infect them. De-infect them. I think the word's called curing, Johnny. It's a white rhino, though. How the hell did those make it to this distant apocalyptic future? And how the hell was that thing not extinct? What? All right, so now it's time to go venture out somewhere else. I feel the eagle's nest is the complete opposite biome of Damba over here. And I like opposites, you know? Man, are there more pages? Holy but holy! look at this stuff. There's gonna be so many places. I guess this is just one more page, but they could all be so magic. Like, what the what? That's so flippin' cool right there. There's gonna be so many add-ons. Obviously, every biome has different creatures. Ooh, I'm expecting some kind of line in this one. The biodome is designed with a performance in mind, a place where you can build as much as you- Oh, I didn't get to read it. You dirty testicle tickler. Look, a wild deer. We have a rhino and a dog in our inventory. I think we're doing pretty good. So... Ooh, the iron spear does five damage. That's what I'm talking about. Do you only do two damage? What is the point of you, sir? I, I swear to God, we have a bunch of metal shards. I know I've been grabbing a bunch of metal poop all over the grounds. I know that's a fact. It came slipped that one by me. I've been seeing that little word pop up in the bottom of my screen forever. I think they've managed to slip one by me, though. Oh, what? What do we got going on over here? Is that bear going to attack me? Of course that bear is going to attack you, fool. Why aren't you shooting arrows, Johnny? What's happening here? There you go. There you go, guys. For some reason, these animals are just unable to inflict damage right now. It is perfect. But also, my arrows aren't shooting. This is kind of glitchy. Come on, buddy. You know what to do? There we go. You just got to put arrows in his face. That's a good boy. All right. So now we got us a bear. We're collecting the whole pack right now. Look at him. Glorious. All right. We have a grizzly. Damn, son. Everything's so infected around here. All right, Stone Cold, I'm sorry, but I have to put the beer in the inventory right now. I wasn't drinking them right now anyways. I have no intention of dying right now either. So I might be able to just keep all my things. Even though I clearly do have some intention of dying, that's why I'm putting these creatures in the hot bar. Look at the little rabbits. What's going on, fella? I don't think this biome really has any animals in it yet or anything, because I've been running for a while. Okay, I hear a wolf, so we're just gonna chart this one down as like deer, bears, and a wolf. I don't know. There's gotta be more creatures. I just, I've been running around forever. I haven't seen anything. And I really don't have any visuals in this map either because of all the mist. I kind of want to go try and find some sort of giant creature. I'll be taking this. What is that? Oh, that's just something to spruce your base up with. That's awesome. Okay, I feel like a city that is turned... Is this what this is? Is this what Coltsburg is? It's just... Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a city where nature has taken back. It's, it's a land. Essentially, it's an I Am Legend city, is what I'm thinking. Damn, where's that game been? I guess we do have Dying Light, it's essentially the same thing, but... No, that's even better, because anytime a movie makes a game, it always sucks tremendous amounts of balls. They are just so good at producing crap. I feel like everyone thinks it's so easy to just make a good game. 
But it is not, man. How the hell am I supposed to get down from here? What the hell? The thing's right beneath me. Oh my god. Hellhounds already. Okay, yeah. This, I was gonna say, this is what I'd imagine. All the other areas we were in is where everything is more like animal rich and beautiful. And then the cities would be straight up I am legend business. Like this, you don't want to be in a post-apocalyptic scenario in a major city. Oh balls, what breathed at me, dude? Something breathed at me. Oh yes, 30 train cares. Oh, shit balls. Oh my God. Oh my God. I thank you, thank the Lord I just grabbed some train arrows. That, that's gonna save me. All right, buddy, back up. Come on, frame rate, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, don't be wasting arrows, Johnny. Yeah, sucker. That was ridiculous. Give me these back. Oh, the arrows just all disappeared on him. You stingy. M oh my God, we got a mutated DNA sample at least. We have some herpes to take back to base. That's always nice. Eat this chicken wing. I've earned this chicken wing. Look at this. Someone just had a bed under here. What are you thinking? What are you? What, where's the logic? How does that? How is that the safest place possible? Ooh, wait. So okay, so we can just fill our water bottles up at water pumps. Wow, that's that's ingenious right there. We have so many. Are you all empty? Wait, no. Where's my empty water bottles? Cause it doesn't really matter. Just craft as much as you possibly can. Need to fill those bottles up. Okay, there they are at the top of our screen. We have like a bajillion empty bottles. Oh, fill all these up. That is so flipping cool right there. Might as well just combine all you into one giant pile of full water. Cause that's what life's all about right there. Look at all this water. Are you serious? How did I not realize this? I had found like water pumps before, but they weren't actual stuff you could take water from. They were kind of just like broken ones that you pick up and put in your inventory. Oh, we are stacked, man. I love a game with no max, with no inventory weights. I understand it's not the most realistic thing ever, and I don't care. I am so tired of being over encumbered in my life. This is just, and we don't have any dinosaurs to carry our, uh, our crap around now either, so. I think it's definitely like places like the Africa level are the most animal rich areas, obviously. But then places like this are the most item rich areas, which uh, actually it's not doesn't even seem like something I should have had to look around to realize. Sounds like tremendous odd common sense, but look at all this crap, dude. This is like I need bigger pockets for all this loot. Oh no, don't even say that. I need bigger pockets for all this loot business. I swear to God, if you get over encumbered. Holy crap! If you're looking to build a base, this is like there is just infinite trash on the floor, infinite <laughs> trash and bricks. This is actually crazy right here. Now I know where to get all the stuff. Oh god, what just weasel at me? What the hell is that? Fucking giant zombie cat. What is this thing? Dude, inner city cats have evolved into terrifying monsters. Oh, ball sack. There's two of them now. Now we're screwed. And I can't actually hit one of them either. I haven't hit one of them once. You agile little poop shits. All right, come on, giant. Now or never. There you Wow, you hit one of them once. What is that? Zero for, for one for five? Oh, one for six? You're a failure, Johnny. They zigzag so incredulously. It's so frustrating. Come here, little cat. No wonder where the hell everyone is. This is Son of a bitch! They may cut off one head, two more rise. I should call these like Hydra cats. If I manage to just hit one of them twice, it's all over. I feel like that one should have hit. That was ridiculous, dude. That was actually crazy. We have a bunch of empty, that's cool. More empty plastic water bottles. Um, 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 um okay, we still have 17 arrows. So that's nice. I wish these creatures would stay, dude. If they would just stay, that'd be so great. Okay, we have a bunch of mutated DNA. So that's nice. Now there is metal scraps in some of these, right? I don't think so. There's feathers in them though for creating arrows, so that's cool. And that explains where the demon cats came from. Actually, until I get hit with any sort of max inventory thing, I'm just gonna gather all this crap because there's so many uh, feathers in here. Holy sheep shits! What the heck is that thing right there? That is like a new form of monster of which I have not seen. That thing looks spooky, dude. Look at that beast. We're bringing it down. What is that? Those are just giant mutated monsters back there. Lovely. He's taking those dome shots, man. No, he's already down. What a good fella. What a nice person. I really don't want to mess with those giant creatures. It looks like the mutants just get much more hardcore when you go into the city. Shizen! All right, I'm not going over there, man. These One of these cats is bad enough, but if all those big guys get on us, we are certainly screwed. Looks like the cat can even follow me up here. Ha ha. 
I have way too much crap on me right now to continue this journey and just keep splendoring all my resources. Oh my god, if I can get up on top of those rooftops, actually, that must be insane. But I need to come back here with better weapons. I don't think I can, though. The entire building looks completely empty and foraged. But I gotta go at least check out one more area, because everywhere I go around here brings so much adventure. That place had the coolest animals, this place has the most crap. I imagine the desert has a few things too, right? The green hills, now I'm getting too much of like a Southern California vibe from that. We don't have that many interesting animals, but what would be in the desert? I don't know, man, that's like the journey, that's the whole magic of going on the journey. Oh, what the what? Hang on, are we here? Game breakage. Game breakage. Game is frozen. Game is sketching me out right now. Oh, poop buckets! The game totally froze! Oh my god, I might have to take a bit to get back into this game because it keeps crashing when I try and load a save game. But either way, I'm gonna, I was gonna end it right about now anyways because I have too much items and I can't explore anymore and I have to go figure out how to heal my dog down here. So if you guys want to see more, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more. I'll try and fix this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Yeah.